Kiln opening, September the 16th, 2021. Let's have a look. Okay. So, temperature is about 111 degrees. So, let's see if it's uh, a little warm, not bad. So, the cone pack cone five bent over, cone six partly over. I'd say that's pretty good for the cone pack. Okay, so shamrock plate. Oh, take that off of there. I had to reglaze it because it's still doing this. This piece right here is not totally melting properly for some reason. And I put uh, another glaze in the center just to see what would happen. It actually was smoky Merlot and uh, textured turquoise. So um, this here is still there. It was here, you can kind of see where it was, but it has melted a bit. So, I don't really know why that's not melting properly. But it's just a practice piece, I guess, and it slumped on me anyway, so I think I'm done with that one. So this had a transfer on it, um, sort of a paisley design. Just a little plate, didn't turn out too bad. Now, this was a refire. Ooh. Um, <clears throat> I made this a long time ago and I didn't like the way it had turned out because it was very matte. So I put some different colored glazes on it and then coated it with clear glaze. And it is much better. It's much smoother and shinier and I do like that better. So happy with that one. Uh, then there's this one here, which is a reglaze. Um, this is sort of, uh, it was a very light glaze on it to begin with. And honestly, I don't really know what I did, but I put obsidian over it covered by smoky Merlot and then seaweed. And it gives you this kind of Northern Lights effect. It's actually quite pretty now. Um, I didn't do too much to the inside. And it still has those little bumps on it on the inside. So I might, I might redo the inside because all the little bumps that were on the outside, well, no, I guess there are still a few of them, but they don't seem to show up as bad. So yeah, I might do the, redo the inside and see what happens with that. Okay, next piece. I think I'm gonna take this shelf out of here. 
get it out of the road. Next piece. Um, oh, teapot. Ah, this is a reglaze too. Uh, top doesn't want to come off. Anyway, I'll get that off later. This is a reglaze too. This also had little bumps all over it and it was a very, very dark, dark, dark brown. And I put on that, Two coats of glaze here. It was originally, I think, nutmeg fired to cone six, and I put two coats of glaze here over it and fired it to cone five. And it is much prettier. And those little spots actually are kind of interesting now. <laughs> they don't really look so ugly. I hope I can get that cover off. I'll have to fight with that later. Uh, what else do we have in here? Oh, this is a picture which was I think it was also nutmeg. Just a second. I'll just look that up. Yes, it was nutmeg. And I put two coats of texture turquoise over it, but we got some bubbling here. So that might have to just get refired again. Um, the color is better. This was kind of how dark it was before. The inside is okay, that color, but when it was on the outside, it just really didn't look good. But this business here, I'm going to have to refire that. So perhaps the kiln didn't get hot enough. I'm not sure. Okay, this is my other bird feeder, which I, oh, that looks like it's stuck right in there. I did this one in. I'm going to put it the way back here. Textured turquoise. That is quite pretty, actually. Yeah. Quite happy with that. I hope I can get this off. And the top of that should be here. I just did it clear. And that's the top. Oops. Now, I have a little spoon rest, which I had to redo because the center, the color in the center burnt out. So I just redid that. So that turned out okay. I'm not really seeing the blue hydrangea there. I am seeing the lavender mist. But that's what I wrote down, so it's kind of interesting. Um, uh, this, oh dear Lord, <laughs> this was a horrible green color and it's still a horrible green color <laughs> with splotches all over it. So what did I do to that? Um, I 
I put two coats of blue hydrangea on that. Two coats of blue hydrangea on that. And <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to think of that. We'll put it on the shelf and think about it. All right, back again. So, this, oh, let's get the cone pack out. So this cone pack went down to cone five and cone six just started to bend. Now, in my last firing, my cone pack on the bottom, didn't quite go down. It didn't quite get hot enough in the bottom. This was the firing before. This is the firing today. So this cone five here went down. This cone five here didn't quite go down. So that means the bottom didn't quite get hot enough, but this time it did. And cone six started to bend. So it's better this time fired more evenly, which is what I wanted, exactly what I wanted. Okay, this is a refire. Um, this square jug, uh, it was dark, very dark. And, it here. Because I'm on the wrong page. That's why. Okay, my square jug. That had originally nutmeg on it, and I covered it with three coats of textured turquoise, and it just sort of Gave a little bit of a mottled effect on it, but I got a little funny thing going on there. I'm not too sure whether I'm crazy about that either. So that might get refired. Okay. This here pot was a refire. I didn't reglaze it. I just refired it. It had a lot of little things going on here. The glaze didn't quite cover, and it still has not quite covered either, but it's not as bad as it was. So, hmm. Not sure. It's smooth. I really don't know why I did that. Okay, what else have we got? Oh, this here pot. <laughs> it was done in licorice, which was a cone six glaze. And ugly, ugly, ugly. I can't say anything else except it was ugly. It was this horrible black, tarry color. It didn't, I don't think the, lic the licorice really turned out in the kiln correctly. Um, I was at a, belonged to a guild and a whole bunch of pots were fired from different potters. And there were more than one piece with licorice on it and none of them really turned out good. So I put raspberry mist over that and probably two coats, I'm thinking. So that did turn out quite interesting. It is much nicer to look at. Yeah, much nicer. What else have we got? Oh, this is a little candle dish. And 
Huh. It was kind of this green color. I'm not sure what I used on that. I did this years ago. And I really didn't like it. So I put... Um, what did I put on that? Oh, I put Smurfy, Smoky Merlot on it here and Seaweed on the top. So I can't say I'm crazy about that. I think something else is going to have to happen with that one. Not sure just exactly what yet. It did kind of run a bit here, but it's too dark up here. And the smoky Merlot should be, it should be more of that color all the way around. So maybe because, I don't know, of where it was in the kiln. Yeah, we'll see what happens to that. Okay, this is another picture. Ooh, this was green. Um, it was a cone six glaze spearmint. And I didn't like the way it turned out at all. It was terrible. The inside was okay, but the outside was just not even, it was kind of matte. Um, it was bare in places. So I put, I do believe it was, um, lavender mist. yes two coats of lavender mist is what I put on that and it is okay it's okay it's not bad it's much better than what it was that's for sure okay What else do we have? Oh, this was my planter. This was not a refire. This was one that didn't get in the last glaze fire. And Um, I'm thinking it's lavender mist. I put on this one. Blue hydrangea and lavender mist. So, this was a little dish, and. I put two coats of coyote opal in the middle, but unfortunately it covered up my design and this bubbled up. So I'm not gonna bother with that anymore. It's obviously a lost cause as far as I'm concerned. These were my spice bottles that I fired before and the color fired out of them on the labels. So I redid them with um did I redo them with no. <laughs> Two coats of something on the labels and I didn't write down what it was. So, I don't know. 
I might have put textured turquoise on it. Oh, I gotta get my mallet to tap these things because I don't want to come off. Yeah, it must have been, I guess, textured turquoise, I guess. For some reason I put two coats, but I didn't put two coats of what? And then this other little spoon jar was a refire. And huh, I didn't put down, I can't find it. But I did just do something there in the middle. It's quite pretty actually. Um, I don't see it there. Oh, Smoky Merlot. Smoky Merlot, two coats is what I had written down. So that's kind of pretty, I like that. And that is the end of the firing. So thanks for watching. See you later.